got a story for you. Hey, this one starts out a little bit of a linguist. His name was Wally, right? We called him Terps, short for interpreter. Wally was one of about 50 something Terps that I had in Afghanistan that I was responsible for. Wally was the bravest Terp that we had and he couldn't wait 110 pounds soaking wet. My buddy Dave told me a story about taking Wally out in a firefight with him one time. He said they got ambushed on this road and there was machine guns cracking down all around them and mortars dropping just right, right where they were at. He said there was this great big rock that was maybe two feet tall and about two feet wide. He said Wally laid down behind that rock just as narrow as he could be and he pulled his little patrol pack over on his chest and he opened it up, pulled out an MRE and started eating out of it right there in the middle of a firefight because Wally figured he couldn't go nowhere because he was pinned down so he might as well eat some chow and enjoy the, enjoy the view. I went to Wally one day and I said, and this was shortly after that firefight, I said, hey Wally, I'm gonna need you to go back up to uh, Golistan where you got in that firefight at last week. They're asking for you. Wally, he looked a little nervous. He said, sir, Golistan, it's a bad place. I said, yeah, I understand that Wally. I'd really appreciate it if you go. And he said, he rubbed his beard for a minute. He said, sir, would you do something for me? I said, anything Wally. And he said, can you get me a new patrol pack? And I said, sure Wally, I'll get you a new patrol pack. So. We went right down to supply and got that guy a patrol pack. You know, that's all, all, all in the world he wanted was a patrol pack. Cause turns out the one that he had had in that firefight had got all drug up and probably had a couple of holes in it and it was all ripped to pieces. He just wanted a new patrol pack. Listen, the moral of that story is sometimes all people want you to do for them is listen and give them just a little bit to show them you appreciate them. You know, not everybody wants the world. Wally could ask for citizenship or a new Cadillac or $1,000 or anything like that. He didn't. He just wanted a patrol pack. So listen, know what your people want, know what motivates them, and just take care of them and listen to their needs. Semper Fidelis, talk to you around the bend.